Me dio la impresión como que como que andaba con pantalla. Cuando fuiste ya. Hi, good evening, teacher. Anna Claudia, good evening. How are you? Right on the nick of time. Exactly. <laughs> uh, missing just five seconds. <laughs> yeah, let me text everybody that it's time. So how are you? How was your day? So far, so good. Beginning a new month, uh, new expectation. Uh, as I told you yesterday, running in order to get the, all the possible cells in the first two or at least three weeks of the month because okay. at the end how many did you get today did you reach the uh, goal? well today i started the process to place uh, two orders but i'm pretty sure tomorrow will be 1500 but i'm still missing because it's 1100 11 000, i'm sorry 11 000. Oh at the end of the month so must be done at least my goal is let me check the calendar my goal is to reach that amount not later than december the 21st that is my goal december the 21st, the 21st. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh you are a very ambitious me that's cool mm, well it's because um, my experience in this same account two years ago, uh, since two years, I'm, no, three, oh, two years. By I'm the working. way, by the way, by the way, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. When I said ambitious, I refer to the fact that you you want to to to, to reach that goal at the time. To reach yes? the goal right on mm -hmm. time. Yeah, yes. because I mean, in the Spanish, that's oh, a whole in different Spanish, story. Different. You use the, mm -hmm. Yeah, you use but I like it Spanish, too. It's Either it's if it's Spanish or English meaning. For I like it. I agree. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you get your goal, yes. Either with the meaning in Spanish, ambitious. Yes, I prefer to get it, so I'm not running and on a hurry at the end of the month, thinking what to do in order to get those orders. I got yeah, some or... colleagues that they are, we must uh, do other activities, for example, send emails, we have a number of calls, we must reach at the end of the day, so we have a number at the end of every week, 
but I have some colleagues, they are running at the end of the month in the last day, trying to reach all the things that they didn't accomplish during the month. I don't want that. No. I want to be relaxed like this last month happens that in the last two years of November, I was relaxed, just looking at how the others will achieve their goal. And if I uh, was able to make another sale, it's okay, but it's not like a headache. Yeah, I understand you, I understand you. Yeah, it's, it's cool when you can uh, like, when you set your goals and mm -hmm. And when those goals are something that you can really reach. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes that happens to some people that they get frustrated because they can, they, they try to get uh, too much. And when mm -hmm. they don't, uh, it's frustrating for them. I mean, you know, one they, thing that I've learned here in sales all during all this time is, and I learned it from one of my excellent supervisors. I have in my life excellent a manager, excellent supervisor. I have had. I, I have, have had. had. I'm sorry. I have had excellent managers. One of those he told me once, and I always remember, every time you have a new goal, you think it's unreachable, just first sit down, eat it, and then pop it. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I and got it. exactly, you need to digest first. Digest. Digest, uh-huh. I just instead of being worried, what am I going to do? You know, no, no, no. First, sit down, take a look, think your strategies, and make it one step at a time. One step at a time. One little step at a time. Yeah, I mean, it's important to, to take things slowly. Exactly. One step at a time. Yeah, actually, that's that's the most appropriate attitude. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't have mm -hmm. to rush. You know, I remember uh, I remember a friend that used to tell us when we were working, uh, uh, well, it, uh, I don't know how to say it in, in English, but it, the idea was, despacio que tengo prisa. <laughs> okay. If you catch my drift, I mean, uh -huh. do it, do it slow, but do it well, because exactly. we don't have time to, to do it again. Exactly. You cannot lose time. That's right. That's correct. Work with quality. Mm -hmm. I yeah. agree with that. Exactly. Anna Claudia, always a pleasure. Welcome to the <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Well, a pleasure, to you. too. Let's see. Let's see. Who else is around? Who else is around? Walter. Hello, Walter. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, never to fine. You ready for the class? Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Ah, yes. Uh, I had a good day. And in the morning, uh, I had a lot of work. It's the morning and I'm explaining in my partner. And excuse me. And my department is, uh, I had a lot of work. Okay, well, yeah, you know, that happens, that happens, that some yes. days are like, are like heavy days, or perhaps part of the day, one part of the day is like pretty fast, and then you get slow. Oh, yes, teacher. And always uh, in my company in summer is a, uh, it's very, very, my department, a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of work. Oh, a lot of work. Remember, perfect. I'll, I'll... Let me text it for you. A lot of, a lot of work. Like this. Oh, thank you. A lot of work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this month is like that, like almost for everybody, but me. In my case, December is slow. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, December oh for God. me is slow. Walter, welcome oh. to the class. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Welcome, teacher.
Let's see, where's William? William Rosales, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you, my friend? Very well, teacher, and you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know, here, same old story as usual. Tell me, how's everything? How was your day? And uh, uh, now a pretty heavy day. Oh, really? Uh, pretty heavy uh, day? Why? A lot of work today? Yes, because it's in the moment I am learning a new activities in my job. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, oh, I tell him every try I try. Uh, and the bicicleta, teacher, how do you say? Ride a bicycle. Ride a bicycle. Ride a bicycle is around for two hours every day. Oh, really? Uh, That's good. Yeah. So you do a lot of exercise. Yes, it's one activity I like. Uh, Para mantenerme. <laughs> How do you say? Okay, 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 okay. I like to. This is the the idea you are giving me is this one. It is an activity I do to keep in like this. It is an activity I do to keep in shape. It is an activity I do to kick in shape. Oh, that's good. Excellent. Every day Excellent. around two hours. That's cool. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yes. Well, good for you. Good for you. William, welcome to the class. Thank you very much for being Thanks here. Thank you, Chair. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. So far, so good. It was a normal day when I have to work. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, yeah. Was oh, well, more than norm Thursday. more than normally because I only is have it to work. Today, a, a day off for you? No. No, my day off is yesterday. Tuesday. Oh, Wednesday and Friday. Oh. Yeah. What day is today? Wednesday. Uh, today is Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. It's just that uh, I usually have a, I usually have a meeting on Wednesday, but this week they move it for Tuesday, so it has like messed up <laughs> my on? mind, my schedule. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I don't like when things like that happen. It only happen when something is like a custom, do something on every day. Yeah. No, no custom. A habit. A habit. Okay. Custom in English is uh, aduana. Okay. So I have it. Okay. Let's see. It. Yeah, that. it's true. And you know, and in vacations is even worse for me because I mean, uh, my whole my whole schedule, my whole calendar in my mind gets like distorted because I mean, I'm used to a, a to a certain routine all along the oh. year. So whenever I You're get vacation, not really, but I do some other activities. But there are certain activities like these classes, like uh, some other classes that I teach, like uh, private classes. And but still, it's uh, I don't like vacations because of that. I mean, I lose track of time. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So, how's everything? Tell me, oh, what's new? Thanks to go. Today was better than normally because Already? I only answered, yeah, because I only answered like 12, like 12 calls during the day. Okay, you know, another way that you can express that idea is like this. I only took, I only took like, well, calls all along the day. Okay. I only took like 12 calls 
all along the day. Okay. Got it? Perfect. Yeah, I got it. Okay. okay, now say it to me, please. Today, I only took like 12 cogs all during the day. All along the day. Along the day. All along all the day. All along the day. Yes. A lo largo de todo el día. Okay. That's the idea that you give me when you tell me. Uh, let's see. All along the day. I always like to, to write the phrases because they, they are useful for everybody, not just for you. And it's always good to, to mount them. Once you mount them, I mean, it get, they get better in your head. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's nice. That's actually yeah. nice. Was really so, nice. A slow day in your area, a slow day sometimes is good, right? Yeah. So they is really nice. Because okay, they pay the what's, same. What's the most you take? What's the, the most you most, have taken on a day? Uh, maybe like 30, 30 calls. Mm, that's a lot. 30, 32, yeah. That's a lot. And what's the average uh, in time? What's the average time you usually spend for per call? Mm, maybe, I don't know, could be like 600 seconds. 600 seconds. Okay. Yeah. That That's is like, yeah. But That's like 10 minutes. No. Is it like let me see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, it's, it's 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah, it's 10 that's minutes. right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I was checking out my mind is like giving me tricks. No, it's 10 minutes. <laughs> but that happened when the course is related to support, to technical support. Maybe uh, that's when you they have, take longer. Yeah, you have to explain something to the customer, and customer has to to make it. Oh, so you have to guide along the call. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's complex sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it's really complex, and most when these are older people. Yeah, I understand you. Yeah, because the technology is really weird for them. Well, it depends, you know, it depends for, it depends on the people because I mean, there's some old people that they are quite savvy. Mm -hmm. Do you know that expression? Quite savvy? I savvy? heard techy savvy. I'm sorry? What I've heard is savvy take no techy savvy person is the expression that I heard. Techy oh, savvy person. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm using the British expression. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. But in that case, it's like this. This is amazing. Aha, with double V. Savvy. Yeah. yeah. Savvy. savvy. I have to. Uh -huh. Yeah, when you use savvy, you are saying um my dear. Uh, okay. Hmm. Savvy, like, I understand someone when, when that you knows. Use savvy, maybe you need to use empathy. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. When somebody is quite savvy in a certain subject, it's mm -hmm. like a, it's like I I evaluate myself that I'm quite safe, what quite savvy in, in English. In English, correct. Mm -hmm because I know and understand a lot. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. if you try to translate the word, like just the, the, the word savvy, it's a uh, comprensión. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, somebody who knows and, and, and understands. And savvy with one V is different the pronunciation? Savvy, you say? Savvy, yeah. It's in British? Yeah. It's... Well, actually, it's in Scottish. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, guys. That's one of my, uh, 
problems and that's why i am always trying to to clarify when i'm when i'm when i use a term in british english is because uh, uh, some of my teachers were british mm. you get used so when, to the words when i learn english uh, when i was learning english i mean my very first teacher was scottish mm. wow then i had a Canadian. Really nice. And I even practiced with uh, with a guy from South Africa. My goodness. So and then after that, I started. Uh, I practiced English for like for five years with some guys, but they were from I mean Boston, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And after that. I started getting like slang and everything with some guys from LA. Nah. <laughs> so in with... my mind, in my mind, I have a mix of accents and expressions. So right, that's why sometimes I, I go back on myself and I say like, oh, okay, no, no, no. It's this way, pronounce it this mm -hmm. way. Because I mean, in your case, actually I'm trying to get you into the American, the American, American English because it's the, mm -hmm. the, Most is the common. one more, well, yeah, it is the most common. Actually, it's not the most common. It's the one that we got closer because mm. there's also a version that we call the, the standardized English. Oh. And it's also understood as, as the international English, but it's too academic. Oh, good to know. It's too academic. And that's something that, uh, I mean, is something that even Americans prepare. They take the, the uh, let me see what's the name of this exam. Is the Apple? ELT? No, no, no. TOEFL is, TOEFL is uh, an exam. It's a standard for American English. Mm. I mean, you take TOEFL in order to study abroad, perhaps in the United States. Mm -hmm. But when you are there, you have to take another mm, English okay. exam. And that's one that even Americans take. But let me remember the name of that exam. And because that one is uh, it's a little bit more complex and it's also related uh, with culture. Mm. Whereas in TOEFL, you, you are tested a little bit in culture, but not that much. Not that exactly. Not that much because I mean, TOEFL is, well, for me, it was not difficult. But there's also, there are different standards, like there's the, the European, the European standard, uh, it's according to British English. Mm. And European and the, 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 the evaluation for Europe, you, the levels you get are like A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, mm. C2. C2 is the highest you can grade the highest grade you can get. And if you are in C2, you are bilingual, according mm. to their standards. standards. Yes. Mm. And you test that by, one of the ways you test that is by taking TOEIC. TOEIC is British English. Mm. And, the pen, and there are versions because like in my case, I took the, the business related version. My goodness. So mm. I took TOEIC. <laughs> in the one there i'm sorry the version of toy i took was business related mm. okay and also the the in TOEFL you get the ibt and the ict so there are small difference on the versions of the exam you take but uh, TOEIC, as i told you in the one the version that i took was focused on on, on business so it was a lot of reading. You have to read a lot. Uh, reading comprehension was something that you really need to be good at and listening comprehension too. And vocabulary, a lot of vocabulary. But we are talking about fast reading because I was in the exam, they test you like they give you letters, big letters that you have to read, formal letters from company to company and analyze processes I mean, it's a whole different story, but it's quite interesting, actually. <laughs> but uh, that's uh, like a specialized area. Mm. 
and you take that just for, for certain special stuff. Good. I mean, uh, depending on the area you are going to work with. Mm -hmm. So depending on that, they ask you to, to present those exams. Well, it's, it's interesting. Actually, it's quite interesting. We may just you remind your beginning times. <laughs> Actually, TOEIC, I didn't take it that long ago. I have taken it like two, three times. The same as TOEFL. Remember that, uh, I mean, the, 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 they are valid just for two years. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. If I take, if you take TOEIC right now in after two years, it's not valid no more. If wow. you need to apply for a scholarship or for a company, you need mm -hmm. to take it again. Mm, wow. Taking into consideration mm -hmm. the fact that every two years, uh, it's is the amount, like, uh, how can I explain this? Give me a second. It is considered that after two years, the language, the language has changed. Mm. Okay? New words have come and some words are, are out of use. Mm -hmm. And that's normal for every language. So every two years, you are supposed to get new vocabulary to be up to up to, to, to be up to date with the with the new vocabulary, with the new usage mm -hmm. of some words. Wow, amazing. Your like teacher had to um, make us every two years. Yeah, and also, I mean, we also get into trainings like for this, for this, for for in support. I mean, the validity of my certification is for these courses. It's like every five years I have to, I am re-evaluated. Oh, good, good. And, and, and uh, for the Ministry of Education, no, it's a whole different story. But as in my case that I work in, and there, but in some other areas also, I need to be like up to date with some certifications. It's interesting because I mean, it's, you, it always keeps you busy. Mm -hmm. And it, it also helps me like to, to, to get new vocabulary, to remember some things like some grammar. There's some specific grammar, like I need to be like reviewing every other time methodologies. I mean, uh, uh, I have to reevaluate the methodologies I use, the techniques related to each methodology in order to see which one is is better and sometimes remembering those exercises, I, I remember some activities that perhaps can be better for the different type of students I got. So it's, it's interesting, quite interesting, you know? Yeah, really interesting teacher. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as in any area, as in any area, you know, I mean, all of you, I am sure that need to be like, updating yourselves like regularly, constantly, because I mean, the, the demands of, of each profession or job you have, I mean, they change, they change. And I mean, processes are different. So you need to be adapting to different situations. And the same happens here. It's like uh, sometimes, uh, I don't know if you have noticed something, Sometimes I am like speaking to you and I am teaching and sometimes I am speaking quite fast. And then I repeat the same idea, but I speak it slow. And there's a reason for that because the first time you are like trying to get the sense. I am trying you to get the whole idea, the main idea of the explanation. Then when I start explaining slowly, what I'm trying for you to get is the proper sense of each word and how each word accommodates itself into a certain pattern in order to give you the sense of the idea. So, I mean, those are little processes that in my case, I've been teaching for a long while. I mean, sometimes I do it automatically, but sometimes I need to remember why am I doing it? 
And that's why I need to start reviewing all my material. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Well, let's see. Gosh, I got excited talking to you guys. Let me get the attendance before we continue, please. Let's see. Today is Wednesday, the first. Oh, a very nice day. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velasquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Lizard Ramos Barrientos. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Check on something, guys. Perfect. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present, teacher. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present, teacher. Lucero Abigail Rodríguez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Ibed Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, let's see. Well, I still got a few minutes. Let's see who else is around. Ambar, hello, Ambar. I saw Ambar here. There's Ambar. How hello, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm just great. How was your day? My day was uh, very busy because I, I have a, a lot of things to do. But okay. nice. Nice. Okay. That's good. Yes. Good. What about you? Well, you know. Busy. As usual. Busy. A lot of stuff to do. You know, it was the actually it was my first day of vacation, but I was quite busy all along the day. I mean I had to run some errands. They kept me busy all day long. Oh, really? So, yeah. In your house, yes. it's a boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. More fun. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I imagine there's a certain celebration. I think it's the festivities from here. Close to my house uh, for the traffic redondel. I don't know. How do you say redondel? Roundabout. Roundabout is uh, the people celebrate, I think, for the first day on December. Oh, really? Hmm. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I don't really like the, all that noise, but it's something that you have to get used to here in El Salvador you know they blow them for anything for no reason people is like throwing fireworks yes but is is the tradition 
in this month. Actually, it is. Well, yes. Welcome to the class. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Let's see who else is somewhere. Janira. Hello, Janira. Hello, teacher. Sorry. I was problem with my microphone. Okay. Hi, Janira. How are you? Long, long time no see. Well, teacher, I stay in my cell phone. Today was a very busy day, you know, is end of the month. And then I was very busy solving uh, some cases. But all was finished okay because I finished the solo cases. Then maybe tomorrow will be a normal day. I hope that. Okay, that's good. That's good. I mean, it's good to, to have a good attitude. And to expect yeah, the best. Teacher. Yes, of course. And to expect the best. That's something, I mean, you know, sometimes it's, it's complex, particularly these days at, at work are difficult, right? Yes, but, you know, the attitude made that all. Oh, uh, being uh, easier, I don't know. Because if you think oh, that's okay, or oh, this okay, maybe you attract teacher. Who do you say right. attract? Attract uh, a good thing. I don't know. I I guess that. Yeah, I understand you. Well, Janira, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Sorry, guys, but the noise was loud just a second, a few seconds ago. Let's continue. Let's see. I still just got time. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot greet all of you. We need to, to, to jump into another activity and it's going to take us some time because uh, tonight we are going to see to work with two different grammar points. Do you remember that I told you yesterday that we are going to be working with reported speech, but that's something that, I mean, I'm, I'm explaining it uh, on my own. And we also have to take the into consideration the grammar point we have from the from the manual because it's also important. But before we do that, let's see. Let me check just something. Okay, I got a question for you. Remember that we need to always have like a regular conversations, normal conversations, so you can practice and use your English. So the question that you are going to discuss in groups is this one. What's your opinion of video games? What are the pros and cons of letting children play video games? I mean, is it good? Is it bad? Why? Okay. Because video games are part of everyday life of many kids, right? So what are the pros and what are the cons? Are they cool? Are they bad? Or depending on what. That's what I want you to discuss about it, okay? I'm going to divide you in groups of three members. And you are going to be asked to, to actively participate talking among yourselves so you can discuss this question. Okay, the groups are created, please jump in.
is that they are maybe, well, the, the video games are addictive to them. So yeah. this is the only, for me, it's, only this is the problem for, for children, but they can um, develop another abilities and uh, I, I, I don't know how to say motricidad fina and things like that. And the, the left uh, part of the brain is better every day that they play and when I play too. Okay. What do you think, Francisco? Uh, I think uh, that the problem is the is if the is that that activity. Uh, Uh, in 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 the children a uh, uh, picture or uh, or other problem uh, for me is when uh, the children spend much time in playing video game for me this is the the con but the pros uh, there is a investigation a, that say the play video games a, maybe uh, we create a, that the children use more the the brain. Is is yes. for me is is the the pros. Okay, in my case, I, I think so um, similar with, with you because I, I think so the problem is uh, many times in the dedicate for video game, play video game. So I, I think so comments is uh, a loss the time uh, with with they share with other children because it is is more uh, dedicated for for console I don't I don't know but what? It's interactive with uh, with video game only and uh, they. I think that it's okay that children play video games, but they have to be aware about the time because it's not good that the children is all day with a video game and they study or they some uh, but they don't do nothing during the day. I think parents have to, they have to try that the children use, use it, but not whole, all day sometimes. Yeah, that's my opinion. Okay. Okay, uh, in my case, uh, I think it is not very good for me now uh, because it uh, makes the violent the children violent. Uh, violent, violent. Thank you, teacher. Uh, there are a few in who develop the coup uh, of a video game and needed abilities. For me, it's necessary uh, uh, to learn uh, a different uh, 
the different um, capacitation or motor skills and about the prosper and the ability to solve some problems and can stimulate their brain and to make uh, make quick decisions in about the contrast no sé cómo se dice about the cons uh, the cons I uh, thank you teacher about the cons uh, the children may be loss of interest your interest in studying and maybe avoid responsibilities at home and will be addiction to the video games and uh, losing the interest in in relation to the other person maybe i think uh, there is no problem that they play uh some time uh, for your parents uh, controlado por sus padres controlled by their parents okay controlled by the parents uh -huh. it's my opinion yes you think the same that there must be a panical control mm -hmm. because they don't socialize teacher how do you say investigaciones research Research. 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 ¿Y columna vertebral? The spine. The spine. The spine. Okay. okay, thank you, teacher. What was that about, Janir? <laughs> uh, well, we talked uh, with Anna about the video game. Uh, some research. Uh, Talk about the human change the appearance because spend a lot of time in the screen or cell phone change the spinal. Oh. Maybe in 20 years, a, a human appearance change Will for that. Yeah, it's your fault, yeah. Janira. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay, guys, I was listening and some of your conversations got very interesting. So let's see, Fernando, tell me, what's your opinion of, of video games? Fernando? Hello, hello, sorry, hello. I was... No I was problem. Mute. <laughs> was that happens, that happens to all of us. Don't worry. Yeah. It's it's common. It's a thing that uh, happened to me. Um, sometimes in daily. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, what's yeah. your opinion of the, of video games? Uh, video games. Uh, video games are are good, but uh, it needs to be controlled. Because uh, the the children the children are uh, the children they the children are funny because the children are funny with with them but uh, if the father don't control it uh, it becomes a vice and the children the children can get uh, some problem with your attention to other activities. Or with your your with studies, there. Or there. with their with their studies, 
or you know they can have problem of you know um, angry or you know no, anger. No, anger 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 and and another problem, but uh, sometimes a uh, video game help them to develop some skills, but uh, it's necessary the father control it. Okay, it's necessary for the parents to control. For the parents to control. Okay. Okay. Are perfect. good. Are good. Are good, but it's necessary. To the parents to control yeah to set limits right this is okay. this is the, the idea perfect thank you just like i say <laughs> let's see wilfredo guardado what's your opinion on this what's your opinion of of video games um good evening good evening everybody uh, we were talking with amber and nicolas teacher but when i was a child my play was only La Lleva, Chibola, and another place. But games, now, games. games. But now I can see my children playing. But the problem it is when they are playing all day. But we were talking about that uh, it is, it is um, most important that parents had to be, they have to be careful um, about this game because I, I remember sometime my children was were playing San Andreas. Are you here? Yeah. But it is only kill, kill. And it's kill. kind of violent. Yes, yes. But we were talking, and I I told to Amber, Amber and, and Nicolas. But I remember I, I I don't be sure if three or four years ago in Las Vegas, Nevada, one man start to to shoot with a gun, shoot, shoot, shoot. with with a gun, and they and he he made. Uh, Many uh, he uh, less young injures 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 many people and I guess that he killed many people too. But if the children the the kid is going to play one hour two hour it is okay. But they have to be participating in their house too, making some activities. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, guys, now, next, next, next question. Okay, this is easy for you. Next couple of questions. Why are you studying English? And then in your experience, because you've been studying English for quite a time right now, in your experience, what studying methods are most effective for you? So you are going to share your experiences, what is working for each of you, okay? Let's get into the groups. Five minutes for this discussion, okay?
Sometimes it's difficult for the technical language, uh, vocabulary, I don't know. Technical, technical. technical. Uh, Guys, uh, I am so opinion. sorry, William and Fernando, I am so sorry. I will stop you just for a second, okay? Okay. I will, I'm sorry, I have, I have had to do this before, but I, I didn't check it out on time. I will separate you and send you each to separate groups because actually the, the objective of this activity is not just one-on-one, -on -one, is for you to listen to more than one opinion, okay? Okay, teacher. So I will send you to another group separately, each of you. Okay, teacher, it's okay. You have to be very strict when you want to learn a language or when you want to learn any, anything. Yeah. Something. Hey guys, William is here with you. I add him to the group, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hey, teacher. Hey, and the other question is, in your experience, what study method are most effective for you? What do you think, Francisco? Uh, I, I think, uh, in, my, in my case, uh, I think the, 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 the method, uh, For me, uh, online in this moment is is, is better. Uh, but uh, is is because the teacher listen with you, <laughs> teacher. Francisco. Yeah, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Francisco. So speak freely. Francisco, one a point for for An you. <laughs> Are the most effective for you? Is one of four my, my methods are the most effective for you, Claudia. <laughs> I'm, I'm, kidding, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, for me, teacher, uh, learning the structure because I can Im improve it because my heart, uh, my brand always ask me to follow a sequence. Sequence. I don't know how do you say it. Porque soy de matemática, entonces siempre hay como en matemática como para seguir una estructura, una secuencia. Entonces el querer hablar inglés es bien difícil para mí. Cuando yo conozco las estructuras. Yeah, you work with structures easily. Ajá, mi Porque cuando yo reviso el manual, yo lo que observo es la estructura. La estructura. And that's, and that's yo... what helps you to understand better. Ah, exactamente. Yo lo recuerdo después. Okay. Pero ya de yeah. si yo no me sé la estructura y quiero hablar o improvisar, no sé cómo hacerlo. O sea, para and mí es bien difícil. And that's why we do this type of exercises. Because I need to take you out of that, of your comfort zone, you know? Yes. Because otherwise, if you are just following structures, you get your English is going to be acceptable, but mechanical. Yes. And, exactly. and we don't need you mechanical. We need you like spontaneous. Exactly. And, and to react instinctively. But don't worry. We are going to get there. And actually, this type of exercises help for that. And remember, and... 
there is always room for improvement. There is always room for improvement. Uh, yeah. What is this? Uh, siempre hay algo por mejorar. Okay. And that's that applies to all of us. Okay. Yes, okay. perfect. I mean, there are certain areas in which we are good and certain areas perhaps that we are not that good. Yes. That's normal. That's quite normal. It's normal. Yeah, I am a teacher. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Okay, guys, nice. I was listening to you and interesting, very interesting. Let me get the attendance a second time. Oops. Let's see, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present. Thank you. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. 
Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's see, let's see, let's continue. Let me see, okay. Okay, guys, now we are going to check a little bit of the manual, okay? Let me share with you. Okay, we are working tonight on page number 23 from the manual. We are in unit two and the topic is marketing. Now, how to use enough with nouns? Do you remember that we were using, we were using enough with adjectives now with nouns? Enough is a word that can qualify as an adverb or as an adjective. I'm sorry, it's a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective. It can also be used before a noun. The company does not have enough information about the customers to understand their needs. We design enough promotions to create a short-term increase in sales. This strategy may be used to distribute enough products. The store needs to sell enough items to continue in business. There were not enough experts to perform the task. Now, if you see enough information, enough promotions, enough products, enough items. Now, the exercise we are going to do is this one. Complete the sentences using the information in parentheses and enough. Compare your answers with a classmate. So let's do this exercise and let's do it easily and fast. Let me share with you the image. So you can have it both ways. If you don't have your manual handy, you can be checking it from the chat. Okay, guys, for this activity, three minutes is enough. So hurry up, please. It is in the um, uh, 23 page in the manual. Yes, so yes, we have to um, how to use enough with noun. 
Nouns. Nouns. Is necessary right? Right in the point number five. Complete the sentence. We have to go in that. We have teacher. To... Yes, mister. Okay. So, uh, Would you repeat, please, the, the instruction? Because I didn't hear you well. It's like this. You just have to fill in. Like, the marketing department hasn't created enough interest. That's what you're going to do. Just to fill in. Are you watching the exercise? Number one says the marketing department hasn't, and then in parentheses, you got create an interest. So hasn't created enough interest. Um, for example, in the first one, the marketing department hasn't created. Yes, hasn't created okay. enough interest. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. For products, the second sentence is our product. Our product mm -hmm. offered enough okay. features and benefits. Perfect. For, uh, okay. okay. The the first the first verb is in past, right? Yep. Okay. The play is right. Actually, uh, it's, in, it's in past participle. Ah, okay. Past participle. Mm -hmm. The third sentence in the place is strat strategy. Strategy. Mm -hmm. Demand. 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 Is at the end. Yes. Demand enough channels of distribution. Yep. The four sentence retailers.
Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. The first sentence. Well, let's do it there properly. Let me share with you. Oops, my bad. Okay, number one. Who's gonna give it to me? Claudia Ramos, number one is for you. Okay. The marketing department has sent create enough interest. Okay, created. Remember, yeah. has okay. after have or has. If you yeah. got another verb, that verb is in past participle. So hasn't created. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's see. Hasn't created in this case, okay? Hasn't created enough interest. Number two, that's for uh, Amber. Our products offered offered enough features and benefits. Our products offer, offer, in this case, Offered. is okay. in present, okay? Ah, okay. Okay, now next one, let's see, Erwin. Um, number three, the place yes. strategy. <clears throat> demands uh, enough channels of distribution. Perfect. Demands. Notice this at the end of the verb. Remember that when you call, when you talk about the place, the place strategy is singular. Perfect. Erwin. Number four goes to Walter Retailers. And for the tailings, we are uh, stuck and now and good and sell them. Perfect. Retailers will stock enough goods and sell them. Excellent. Shanira, you got number five. Shanira. Sorry, sorry. Uh, we lack enough information on the competition. Perfect. Excellent, guys. It was a easy and interesting exercise, right? It's always do good when we do something that it's easy, but that is also interesting. Okay. Now. I got another question for you to keep on practicing your English, okay? And the question goes like this, guys. Oh, uh, sorry. So we go again to practice conversation. If you could speak English perfectly, how would your life change? That's a very interesting question, right? So you're going to discuss about that. And uh, I will be getting into some groups. Remember, not in all activities I can get into your group because sometimes I stay with one group a little bit longer, but I'll try to, to get in as many as possible. You will have just four minutes for this activity, okay? Let's jump in because then we are going to check a little bit more of grammar, a different topic. Oh, my bad, my bad. I will kick you. I just made something that. Oh. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. I did something that wasn't supposed to. 
My bad, just give me a few seconds. So everybody's back here and then I can send you back in. I am so sorry, my deepest apologies. I made a mistake with the keyboard. Just a few seconds, please. Okay, everybody's gonna come back here now, about now. Again, uh, I am so sorry, I made a mistake. I will send you back into the groups, okay? And the question, if you could speak English perfectly, how would your life change? There you go. For a minute, starting now. Teacher. Yes, mister. I have I have a, a, a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, look at look at the chat, please. Our products offer enough features and benefits. I correct yes. this. Yes. Uh, on the platform, I I wear it and I have it back. Okay. Which exercise is it in the platform? <laughs> it's exercise at 2.11. I'm sorry, um, Fernando, uh, you need to replace the word enough by great. Great. I'm sorry. Yes, that's a mistake in the platform. It's true. Great. Yeah. Okay. They made a mistake. And the problem right now is the, the, the person in charge of fixing the platform is not in the country. Oh, OK. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Shanira, what are you doing here? I lost the link. Can you send me again, please? I'll send you back to another group. I cannot send you back to the same one. Let's see. Why not? Um, the way this thing works. There you go. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Hey, teacher. Yes. Richard, what is the question? Sorry. The question. Okay. Here you have it. If you could speak English perfectly, how would your life change? Okay. Chat. If you uh, could speak English perfectly, how would your life change? Other job, other uh, other uh, other thing. Uh, I, for example, uh, mm hmm. Yes, mm. but many years ago, and mm. because before I start the English courses, I study my master, and I don't have any time for study. I didn't, I didn't have any time for study other courses, or because yeah. I and she was a bad student in high school. That was the biggest problem. <laughs> Okay, Mr. William. Uh, William, if you could speak the English and perfectly, perfectly, teacher, how do you say? Perfectly. Perfectly. No. That's my opinion. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you, Anna Claudia, how long have you been studying English? 
I, what happened is that I was attending a course and suddenly I was getting out and then maybe a, in the next two years I was going back. I was not so, so you say, um, Constantly, how do you say teacher? Constantly. Ah, constantly. constantly. Ah, okay. Constantly studying in a row. Uh, I was jumping from time to time. Mm, if I can tell you, um, maybe uh, the best way or the best time when I formally study, started to study, it was like, uh, 10 years ago <laughs> but uh, in that case no but but I mean I studied and then I left and then uh -huh. I started working and as I mentioned before in classes when I heard a good phrase or a new word that somebody made in my job I took note of it and I had at least oh I can say this with the customer oh I can but I didn't know what I was really saying Mm -hmm. And maybe I learned phrases or things how to answer, but I didn't know if I was to try. So I think that the formal study, uh, formally studying, I began this year, 2021, with these courses in a formal mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Because okay. I've been learning from one thing from the TV, one thing for the other thing my uh, colleagues so i haven't been studying formally like i started this mm -hmm. year with these courses how long have you been practicing it mm -hmm. 10 years mm -hmm. more or less uh -huh. <laughs> more or less yes because in my job i was um working in some um uh, times in, I was working in accounts uh, full English uh -huh. but I was in the area with chat and I was learning from there uh, but then I was in a different account Spanish and less English and I was uh, going back and forth with that until this new account that I am right now is uh, a combination 50-50 combination 50 Spanish and 50 English Okay. Uh, teacher, how do you say lo he notado? I have noticed. <laughs> I have not. Okay. I have noticed, noticed that you pronounce it very well and speaks uh, very fluent, fluently. Mm, I'm, yes, I'm still here. Uh,
Okay, guys, perfect. Everybody's back. Now, let's see. I got something for you here. Okay. This is what we were watching yesterday. Do you remember from the direct speech and reported speech? So, when we have the sentence in simple present, do you remember yesterday we were talking about this? You can say, I like ice cream in direct speech. And then in the reported speech, it's like, she said that she liked ice cream. Present continuous. I am living in London. She said that she was living in London. So remember, the present turns into past. Present continues into past continuous. Did then you? we go to simple past. Yes, mister? Why that is in parentheses? Because you can omit it if you want. I can say she said she liked ice cream. Or I can say she said that she liked ice cream. Both are correct. Okay, thank you. Then when you reach the simple past, we got a difference. You see, I bought a car. She said that she had bought a car or you can say she said she bought a car. You can use both. Although the most appropriate one is if for a sentence in simple past, you use the past perfect tense, okay? Past continuous, I was walking along the street. She said that she had been walking along the street. This is past perfect continuous. In this case, had is the auxiliary for the perfect tense. The verb being past participle is also working as an auxiliary for the continuous tense. So we have here past perfect continuous. She said that she had been walking along the street. When we have present perfect, we got like, I haven't seen Julie. She said that she hadn't seen Julie. Past perfect. I had taken English lesson before. She said that she had taken English lessons before. Look at this. When we are talking about the future, I'll see you later. She said that she will see me later. Will turns into will in the reported speech. Remember, this is the reported speech. This is the direct speech. Now, this is a very interesting uh, topic. And don't worry, I will be like sending you the, 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 the PowerPoint. So you can like, uh, you can review the topic and you can practice it, okay? Right now, let's leave it at this. We'll go slowly. Class after class, we are going to be adding a little bit more, a little bit more because the idea is for you to, all of you to know it. And I will send you also extra exercises, but further along. So for tonight, the only thing we are going to do, we just saw it, I will send you the presentation as a PDF, you can check it out. And perhaps tomorrow we are going to discuss any doubt you have about this topic. I will try to bring you more examples and also a more structures because we are not finished there, okay? We have more. We also have to, to talk about the interrogative form, but don't worry, we will go slowly, slowly with this topic because it's quite interesting. I don't know, perhaps some of you have already worked with it, right? Yeah, some of you must have already worked with it and you will check it out again and in these courses in these courses, but in further modules, okay? Now, let's continue with our conversation. Remember, right now, no question about this because I need you to read it, analyze it, and prepare your questions. If you have any doubt, it's better if you take notes, okay? Uh, take notes and sign out any doubt you have 
So tomorrow we are going to open up the microphones like for five minutes so we can discuss and perhaps give examples about this topic. So let me see, next activity. Okay. Now we are going to talk about the family, okay? We got two questions and we are going to do it like this. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ana Claudia, hello, Ana Claudia. Hello, teacher. Tell me, do you come from a big family? Mm, I don't think so, teacher, because I have just uh, three sisters. I mm. don't think it's a big family. <laughs> okay. Now, if you know there are some, in some families, they just have one kid. Mm -hmm. Do you think is it good or bad to be a single child? Uh, it depends on how their parents raise that kid. Because if they um, teach him or teach her to socialize with other kids, uh, maybe he can find uh, different or good friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also parents need to be care careful not to not to spoil the kid, right? Spoil. Yeah. What's the meaning of spoil? Oh, well, don't go by the by the exact meaning because mm -hmm. if you go by the exact the exact meaning, uh, it's arruinar. But in this case, it's not overprotect. Arruinar. Like no, no, no. Hold on, give me a second. Um, I I know the word. I just need to get the the, the sense. Uh, <laughs> consentir. In Spanish, consentir. Ah, Thank you. okay. Thank in you. In Spanish, we say consentir. Ah, yes, that is too bad. But the word spoil also means arruinar, so be careful. In this that is case, the reason why in social media you see uh, this is a spoiler comment. I don't know when yeah. they are going to comment. Ah, okay. Yeah, and also there are some spoiled kills, and that means that those kills have been pampered too much. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. so guys, this is what you are going to do. I want you to have like a normal, a regular conversation with these two questions. Now, for this exercise, I am you are going to work with something, with somebody different, okay? So the groups are created. You are going to have four minutes for doing the exercise. Hello. Do you come from a large family? Well, oh, no. Mar Marta no. was a spoiled kid, you know. <laughs> yeah, in my case, no, I I had a single chip. <laughs> <laughs> I have many brothers and sisters, but no, is how do you say half half brother, half sister? <laughs> Medio hermano. Yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, brother and sister, uh, my mom or my father, no, only only me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, I 
I think so is, for me is not important a single cheat because in my all, uh, I I not is important always the company. So I mm -hmm. I I am happy simple for me. <laughs> and mm -hmm. you was say um, in my case Do you come from a big family? Uh, no, I come from a family of two children and I am the youngest. And, and to me, uh, about the is it good or, or bad to be a single child, uh, I think uh, in relation to the attention and possibilities, I think it's better. But to socialize, you need to have a brother because uh, you need uh, someone to, to have fun and someone to have uh, uh, other relations. Uh, uh, only that. Do you have two, two brothers and or sister? Hey, teacher. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah. you were here. According to to the to the session, you were in the main room. That's why I sent Nicolas to another group. But actually, we are going back to the main room right now. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Mr. Wilfredo Guardado, I haven't talked to you tonight. Tell me, teacher. Tell me, do you come from a big family, Wilfredo? Yes. Oh, really? How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have a, it is not really a big family, family, but I have a daughter and a, a brother. A sister yeah. and a brother? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are you the oldest or the youngest? I, yeah, I'm the youngest. So you see, oh, the for, youngest. For 45 years. <laughs> hey, what happened? What happened? So your brothers are, your brother yes. and your sister, oldest. they are older. Than yes. You. Okay. Older than That's fine. Yes. That's fine. Yes. But and tell they, me. That, yes. No, they 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 always told me that you are the preferido de mi mamá. Oh, you are the favorite <laughs> one. Uh -huh. yeah. Always told me that. Okay, tell me. In your opinion, is it good or bad to be a single child? Single child. Single child. Hijo único. I don't believe that, teacher. Is it good or bad? 
No, it is, it is bad for me. For me, it is bad because always we have to need a, a company. We, we need to spend uh, some uh, time with another because okay. yes, I, I guess that because it is bad because in my case, I have three, three children. Okay. But I, I remember my oldest child, it is 43 years old, but I, I remember that all the we, we um, uh, he, he looked so, so sad. But when my middle, middle kid uh, born, I, I could see that another, another, another situation because okay. they could spend together and play Time together. together. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much, Wilfred. Thanks for Welcome sharing. Teacher. Welcome. Silvia, Miss Silvia Pineda. Silvia, you around? Hello, teacher. Hello, tell me, Silvia, do you come from a big family? No, I don't come from. Or maybe yes, I have two, two sisters and one brother. Okay. But my brothers doesn't have my brother I and mean, my sister doesn't have any children. So and are you the youngest or the oldest? I'm the youngest. Oh, you are the spoiled one. <laughs> you are mom's favorite one. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, there's no shame in you. And tell me, <laughs> what about uh, when you see families that just have one killer? How do you think that is? Is it good or bad? What's your opinion on it? Excuse me, could you repeat? Well, there are some families that they just have one kill. What do you think about that situation? What's your opinion? Do you think it's good or bad to be an, an only child? Uh, for the parents, I think it's good. For the parents, because they don't have to take care of the two children. I think with one, okay. it's okay. They can live good because they don't have to spend too much and then we'll have more free time. But for okay. children, I think they need to have someone to play with and to, to learn things. You know, childs are always, childs likes to play with, with other children. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Thank you for your opinion. Okay. Let's see, Maria Alejandra. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Maria Alejandra, do you come from a big family? Mm, yes, I think that I come from a big family because I have uh, five brothers and or mm -hmm, because How I many have sisters, uh, three sisters and. Oh uh, no, sis, because I have a three C no, no, five, five. I have a two sister, no, three sisters and three brothers, because I have a twin uh, a twin mellizos. Oh really? Yes. Oh my gosh, it's but... a lot of people in your family. <laughs> yes, but for my mother only have a Two, oh. two bro one brother and one sister. Okay, it goes like this. On my mother's ah. side. On my mother's side, only have uh, one brother and one sister. And okay. on my father's side, a lot of. <laughs> There's the extra ones. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yes, because have a five. Uh -huh. Okay. And tell me, 
what about you? What do you think? What are your prospects? Uh, I mean, if the time comes for you to get married, would you like to have kids? And if so, how many? Mm, in my opinion, I like to have maybe one kid because I think that the life is very expensive. And if I if I try to give a good things, um, depends on my economy. <laughs> okay. But I think that only nine kills nine kills will be okay for you. No, uh, twelve for the well, <laughs> the soccer. the whole team the whole team. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Maria Alejandra. Okay. Let's see who else is around. Uh, Marta. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Marta, how many are, are there in your family? How many siblings? Well, uh, my family is uh, a big family, teacher. But oh, really? on my mother's side, my body only only me. <laughs> so oh, really? I I grown um alone. Um is good or bad. I, I think so it depends each situation. Uh, I grew because up, when I grew up, I grew up um oh. and the, depend each situation because uh, when you alone you learn a uh, survivor alone and to survive depend. to survive to survive uh, alone and not depend uh, nobody so uh, when okay you... hold on hold on hold on there's just something there okay okay continue 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 and I will explain later to you okay when you when you have other brother and sister uh, you learn a uh, survival survive survive sorry survive the competition and your brother and sister i think so okay thank you very much now marta look the correct way to say it is like this and not to depend on anybody you say okay. depend not to don't depend no, on no, nobody. nobody that's a double negation and remember uh, you cannot do a double negation so okay. in this case if you have a negative sentence use anybody, use anybody. okay thank you teacher. but you can say and depend on nobody if you have a, an affirmative sentence you can use nobody got it okay yes i got it teacher thank you no thanks to you let's see and the last one janita where are you no here i guess hey teacher oh there you well, are i i come from a middle family i have two siblings Okay. They are twins, and and the second part. Well, I I enjoy my how do you say niñez teacher? Childhood. Childhood. I enjoy my childhood because uh, I. I played a lot with my brothers, you know, uh, all their games like uh, Mika, uh, Arranca Cebollas, and all these games with my brothers. And I really enjoy my childhood. Then I can imagine my, my childhood with, the, with, with them. So uh, I think that have our single shot are good thing and bad thing. The good thing is you have 
uh, more resource because all resource from your father is only for you. But maybe it's not a rule, but maybe it's more difficult for this child socialize and another thing and I don't know it, it's not the same when you are single okay perfect thank you very much thanks for your sharing guys I am so sorry if I cannot include everybody I know you were like willing to participate but remember that the amount of time we have is limited pretty nice exercises i really enjoy them i hope you have too and let's see for tomorrow guys we are going to continue with explanation of the grammar aspects and remember tomorrow you start presentation so if you are ready for the presentations or if you are not let me know beforehand so i can adjust the program okay so, but before ending, let me get the attendance one last time. Ambareli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Martha Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Hey guys, thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you. See you. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, Nicolas. Have a good night. Thank you. Susana. Oops, Roxana, have a good night. Hope you get better. And Wilfredo was supposed to stay tonight.
Okay, let's see, let's see. Hmm, some of the kilo. Well, time has run out. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.